everyone, and welcome again to Bible Stories. Now, our story for today is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and it's about some builders. Now, the first one was a wise builder, and his name was... Oh, hi, I'm Zach. All right. Nope, that's not it. That's... Ah, there it is. All right, once that building's down, I can reinforce its foundation with rebar to make it a stronger foundation. We need to build our lives on a foundation as, as strong. Same with our houses. Now, there was also a second builder, and his name was Jude. But Hi. he was foolish. Hey, look at this video. Three easy steps to build a house. Perfect. Oh, Jude, don't bring me down. Huh? Uh, never mind, narrator person. Uh, yeah, three easy steps. Let's see. Uh, first step, find a piece of land, a level piece of land. Uh, that sand will do, because sand, you can level it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, sand works as a great foundation. It you should does use not blueprint. Move. Huh? You should use blueprints. Nah, that's too hard. Um, Jude, you should use a solid foundation, not sand. Sand works perfectly. It packs. All right, you'll learn the hard way. Hey, look at this sign. Caution. Hard hats required. Huh. I guess I should use one. Hey, look. Here's a hard hat, just like the builders use. Hey, and it fits perfectly. Hey, I like these barrels. Now I'm gonna put them right next to my house. Now as time passed, our builders continued to build. Now when their houses were almost finished, wow, my house is almost finished, whoa. That storm's moving in fast. Hey, Zach. Do hey. you have any idea why the barrels I put next to my house are glowing? They're nuclear. What? So is that what that symbol means on them? Oh. Oops. Hey, look, a nice seat. I need to rest. The foolish man built his house uh, upon the sand. Uh, the foolish man built his house upon the sand. Foolish man built his house upon the sand. And his house on the sand went splat. My house! What, what happened? <laughs> I was just gonna go over to the jacuzzi. Uh. Now there's a good lesson we can learn from this. Yes, we need to build our houses on a solid foundation, but even more importantly, we need to build our very lives on a solid foundation. And the only solid foundation is Jesus. He offers us love, forgiveness, worth, promise, and eternal life. So as you go throughout this week, remember, build your life on the foundation of Jesus Christ. I should have asked Zach to teach me how to make a strong foundation. And I should have listened to you, narrator person. Well, I'm going to go ask Zach to help me with that. Go ask now. That's what I'm going to go do. Zach, can you show me how to make a strong foundation? Now our Bible verse for this coming month may look familiar to those of you from VBS. It is Philippians 1.6 and it says, I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Oh, and that is good news for us. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for today, and I thank you for everyone who's here and everyone watching. My Lord, I thank you for this very fact that you who started a good work in us will carry it on, that you don't stop in the middle, and I thank you that we can build our very lives on you as our foundation. Oh, it's in your wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen. 
All right, everybody. Until next time. Bye.